today we are going to start seated. So feel free to grab a seat up in a chair if you'd like. If you have a cushion or a um, pillow or something that you can sit up on, sometimes that's really nice to have the hips a little lifted. Lots of things you can do to make your seated position more comfortable. You can grab your blocks and put them under your knees on any height so that your hip flexors feel comfortable and supported. We'll be here for a few minutes, so just make sure you're super comfy. Any little minor discomforts usually just grow with time in a seated position, so just make sure you're feeling extra, extra supported. And again, if it feels best to sit on a chair or your couch, go ahead and head there anytime. And just bringing your hands to your knees or your lap, wherever they feel comfortable. If you'd like to close your eyes, you could blink them close now, or perhaps choose an area or a drishti somewhere to focus on, somewhere in front of you or maybe on the floor. And as you arrive in this space here, just starting to feel into your, the base of your body, whatever's touching the floor or the props here first. Just double checking that you're feeling comfortable. And then working your way up the spine, maybe lengthening a little bit through the crown of your head. Just make sure you're not too rigid here. We want comfort first and foremost. And noticing your breath. You might automatically start wanting to change it a little bit, maybe deepening or slowing it down. It just seems like the touch of awareness kind of has that effect sometimes. So just let that naturally unfold. Some conscious, full breaths in and out. Seeing about taking as full of a breath as it feels comfortable today in, and then at least an equal length of breath out, maybe even slightly lengthening your exhale. As long as that doesn't cause too much trouble for you, we just want a smooth pace of breath. So keep experimenting. Checking in with the muscles around your eyes, your forehead, your jaw. Feeling stress in any of those areas, you might you might take on a little half smile on your face. Sometimes that can be relieving. Or maybe just kind of a neutral face. Notice your neck and your shoulders. Just trying to find what feels like the right alignment for your neck, shoulders, and back here. Sometimes that takes a little wiggling around or a little movement to kind of find what feels like neutral for you. And noticing the back of your neck, make sure that your back of your neck feels kind of spacious. So sometimes a half tuck of the chin kind of feels nice or like a retracting of the chin. Not so much that you're looking downward, but just like a micro tuck of the chin. And see about drawing the air down to the lowest part of your lungs, feeling like you're breathing into the belly, some diaphragmatic breathing here. So letting the belly expand and the rib cage widen with your inhales. Letting everything cycle through and soften with your exhales.
And as you probably know already, just breathing like this can help you kind of digest emotions or kind of process your day or any of the energies that are swirling around in your world. Taking a moment to feel what you have to feel with your inhales. And again, kind of cycling through with the exhales, letting things move, letting things flow. I like to think about it kind of like you're blowing the dust away. Some of those feelings maybe can feel like just kind of dust, dustiness, kind of mucking up the present moment. But you might also notice with breaths that it's not just dust. There are other things here that maybe want to stay, feelings, intentions, etc. Just seeing what wants to move. Creating a nice oxygenated state for your body and for our practice today. And you're welcome to just stick with this uh, intentional breathing, or you can join me, or at least consider joining me in a couple of rounds of chanting. We will chant Om the primordial sound of the universe, some may say. Um, and whether you believe that or not, the simple act of vibrating um, or singing or chanting or humming can be incredibly soothing for the nervous system, help you become more embodied or present in your body. So. Just see if it's for you today and how we will do this OM chanting is our first round through, we're going to break down OM into three different sounds, three different parts that are verbalized. There are actually four parts, but the fourth part is silence. So we will practice um, with an inhale and then our first exhale will be sounding AH. And we'll take another breath in, and the next time we sound will be O, oh, and then the breath in, and then the third time will be M. Mm. So it'll be A, ah, O, oh, M. Mm. So we'll do that through, and then we will just simply chant Om, Om, three times after that. Let's see how it goes. You can make these sounds yourself at home. You can just kind of bask in the sounds or imagine the sounds. You choose what you're up for today. Let's just take a normal breath in and out as we prepare. And here we go, taking a breath in. Uh... Please take another breath in. Mm. And we'll put it all together now for three rounds of OM. When you're ready, inhale. Uh, 
finding a normal pace of breath here. Just feel the reverberations of OM. And from this place, if you would like to set a dedication or intention, feel free to do so now. And we'll take three clearing breaths, but today, instead of just sighing with an open mouth, we're gonna just kind of blow out of the mouth so um kind of like you're you have something on the other side of the room or a couple of feet away from you that you're trying to blow or move with your breath so it'll be like this inhale through your nose and kind of blow that imaginary thing away through your mouth <sighs> kind of with like a whooshing sound let's do that two more times in through your nose out through the mouth. One more time, your pace. And coming back to a steady pace of breath, taking your time. Maybe you can feel that kind of buzz of fresh energy and oxygen moving around. Maybe you can feel a little warmth built. Just notice whatever it is you do feel. And then we'll start to rub the palms of the hands together, creating just a little bit of friction and heat. Pressing kind of hard, rubbing a little bit vigorously. Once you feel that warmth, go ahead and cup your hands over your eyes. Keeping your hands in place, blink your eyes open. And hands are still covering the eyes here. Let's just circle the eyes a couple of times both ways. So just go at your own pace here, circling all the way around the outside one way. A couple times and then switching directions when you're ready. And then at some point, just moving the eyes side to side, left to right. And then up and down a couple of times. And then just blink your eyes to come back to the center. And then slowly remove your hands from your face and let your hands just come down. Take your time. All right, make sure you're still comfortable here in this seat. If you wanna switch which leg is in front, you might do that now. Or maybe add some more propping up. Let's tent the fingertips off to the side here and sit up nice and tall reaching up through the crown of your head with that little micro tuck of your chin. With your inhale, let's flip the palms and really stretch and reach the arms around and up. Option to look up as your hands join overhead. And then exhale, lower hands down to heart center with a full tuck of your chin. Feel some stretch in the back of your neck. Let's stay here for a breath in. And the breath out. Inhale, hands go high, gaze might follow. Exhale, slowly reaching around and down like you're stretching your shoulders and arms the whole way. Let's do that again. Inhale to reach high, join the palms. Exhale, hands come down to heart center, full tuck of the chin, staying there for an inhale. And an exhale. Inhale, reach the hands high once more. This time with our exhale, it's cactus the arm. So bending the elbows, kind of hugging the shoulder blades together behind you, puff your chest up. Inhale, lift the arms high. We'll do that one more time. Exhale, cactus the arms, puff up the chest, looking up. Inhale, reach high. And exhale, lower your hands down. All right, if you have props and stuff under your knees, uh, let's move that to the side. We can just sit right on the floor now if you had anything under there. We'll let the legs go long. 
You don't have to pry your legs all the way open here. Just kind of a V, comfortable V here. And just kind of start to wiggle the toes and circle the ankles. Sometimes sitting in that position can uh, kind of cramp up the ankles. So just go ahead, circle around. Maybe your hands come to the floor behind you so you can just kind of relax a little bit more as you get some motion going through the ankles. Good, good. All right, let's bend the right knee and right foot maybe tucking in toward the left thigh, something like that. With an inhale, let's reach both arms high. With our exhale, let's twist toward the right. So the left hand is coming to the right knee and that right hand helps you sit up nice and tall here. It's really reaching up through the crown of the head. You might start to notice a little bit of a stretch or a big stretch to the inner left thigh. Just go ahead and feel that here. Let's take a breath in. With your exhale, just a little extra twist toward the right. Maybe your gaze just goes over the right shoulder. Just want to be at like max 70% of your twist. Inhale, unwind just enough to take a full breath in. Exhale, twist again, same side. One more time, big breath in. Exhale, twist to the right. Breathe like normal now as you unwind and come back to the center. Let's reach that left hand down your left leg and just kind of hold on wherever you can. Maybe you kind of wedge your hand underneath your calf. Maybe you can reach your ankle. I like to grab for my left big toe. And if you want to do that, but you can't really reach the toe that much, you can bend your left knee so that your leg comes or your foot comes a little closer. Reach the right arm way up and open. We're almost twisting upward here. Take a breath in. With your exhale, we're side bending toward that left foot. So the right arm is reaching up and over. Reaching in the direction of your left toes. You never have to grab them or touch them. Just in that direction. Take a couple of breaths here. See what it's like to side bend on this side today. Keep reaching that right armpit up and open. One more breath in. One more breath out. And we'll reach that right hand down to the floor. So now the hands are on either side of that left knee or calf or wherever you can reach. And we're just taking a little forward fold over that left leg. Your inhales might have you halfway lifting. And your exhales might have you sinking a little closer toward that left leg. But again, 60 to 70% range is just fine for inhaling to rise a little or exhaling to fold a little. Let it feel good somehow. No need to have it look any which way, just have it feel a good way. All right, when you're ready to switch sides, come back up to the center. We'll straighten that right leg and bend the left knee with the left foot, maybe somewhere near the right thigh, whatever you can reach there. With an inhale, let's reach high. And then exhale, twist toward the left. So the right hand comes to the left knee. Use your left hand to help you sit up nice and tall. Do your best to stack the spine just right on top of itself instead of leaning toward the left. And just stay here for a moment, noticing any stretching that might be happening through that right inner thigh. Feels so good today to me. Now we'll twist a little more. So with your inhale, sitting tall. Exhale, twisting toward that left shoulder. Maybe it's just your neck that's looking toward the left. With your inhale, unwind enough to take a full breath in. Exhale, gently twisting to the left. One more time like that. We're inhaling and unwinding a little bit. We're exhaling and twisting back to the left. Breathe like normal now as you unwind back to the center. Go ahead and let that right hand find a spot on the right leg, maybe underneath the the calf or the knee. Maybe you can reach down to grab onto the right big toe with the knee bent or the knee straight. You choose. 
reach that left arm up and open like we're doing a upward twist here reaching high take a breath in exhale side bending to the right the left arm is reaching up and over a couple breaths here see about reaching that left armpit up and open one more breath in and breath out and then lower that left hand down to the floor next to your right calf or wherever you can reach hands on either side of that right leg taking a breath in and with your exhale we're just kind of folding over that right leg use your inhales to halfway lift and exhales to fold a little bit even just an inch here we don't have to have big movements going on we're just inhaling to rise a little bit whenever your exhales come just kind of folding back down toward the right knee one more time inhaling to rise exhaling to fold all right coming back up to the center let's move along to cat and cow hands and knees so sweeping the legs back and around find your way to tabletop position hands below the shoulders knees below the hips feel free to grab some extra cushioning for underneath your knees if you would like with your inhale lower your belly lift your tailbone lift your gaze press the floor away this is our cow pose Exhale to round your spine, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone, continue to press the floor away. This is cat. Inhale, cow, belly lowers, gaze lifts. Exhale, cat, round the spine, tuck your chin. Keep flowing now with your breath. Inhales have you lifting. Exhales have you rounding up to cat pose keep going and feel free to veer off course <laughs> taking some twists or turns through the shoulders or the hips or an extra bend of the elbows or any other little mo movements that come to mind And you're feeling a little bit warm through the spine, the arms, the wrists. We will find our way to extended child's pose. Knees heading out wide toward the edges of your mat. Big toes touching or almost touching behind you. Just start to sink your seat toward your heels. Just enough. If it doesn't feel like you're quite ready to sink in, you might come back up to tabletop. And then exhaling back towards child pose. You might do that a couple times. Eventually choosing a uh, place to rest, maybe with the forearms on the ground, maybe with your hands reaching out toward the top of your mat and sinking your head and heart toward the floor. Creating a sense of length and spaciousness through your back, through your arms. Let your breath assist you. Breathing through your nose if possible. Softening your jaw. Three more breaths. Just about one more breath. Feel free to stay longer if you'd like. When you're ready, let's come back up to tabletop. <clears throat> Hands and knees. We'll find our way to downward dog. So grabbing your blocks if you have them, bringing those up to the top of your mat. Blocks or not, we still want to spread the fingertips out, being really active, kind of gripping through the hands. Curl your toes under, pick up your knees, reach your tailbone high. Press the floor away, gripping hands into the floor, reaching through your shoulders. Find your breath. 
Feel free to pedal your legs out, bending and straightening opposite knees a couple of times if you wish. Just make sure your main focus is on continuing to breathe here. We know it's extra easy to hold the breath when we're upside down, so counteracting that. And stopping any pedaling of the feet here for a moment. Let's uh, take an inhale and rise up to the tippy toes. So lifting those heels up, tippy toes. Exhaling to sink your heels toward the floor. Let's do that two more times. Inhale to rise up. Keep reaching through the shoulders. Exhale, lower the heels. One more time. Make sure you have at least a little micro bend in the elbows. Inhaling to rise. And exhaling to lower. Bend into your knees a lot. Look up toward your hands. Take a breath in. Exhale, step or walk your feet to the top of your mat, behind your hands, or blocks for ragdoll forward fold. Having at least a little bend of the knees, if not a really nice deep bend of the knees, especially if you want to get more into the low back. Ragdoll, you might... Find a little bit of swaying movement here or a pedaling of the legs. Maybe you're still. If it ever feels like too much to be upside down, you can always find your way to a halfway lift position with your hands on your knees, shins, or thighs. Breathing and letting the upper body just kind of hang loose. Let's have about two more breaths. Just about one more breath. And then bend your knees even more. Tuck your chin toward your chest and then walk your hands up your legs, giving your back some support as you rise up to stand. And eventually when you get to the top, let's just have a nice little shake, a nice little shake out. So maybe you start kind of shaking the shoulders or the hands. Maybe you lift and lower the heels a couple of times, getting a nice bounce going through the body. Just let it be kind of intuitive for you today. Maybe you shake your legs, your feet, maybe your head even a little bit here, just being mindful that it's a gentle shake. Just keep on shaking, bouncing, moving a little bit here as we get our circulation flowing. This is really good course for the lymphatic system as well so whew, all right last little shakes and then we are up at the top of our mats take a look at your feet make sure your feet are in a comfortable position maybe about hip width distance apart or a little closer you choose plant your feet down with an inhale reach your arms around and up taking your time as you join your hands at the top Exhale, swan dive, forward fold, arms reaching wide, hinging at your hips, release your hands toward the floor. Inhale, halfway lift, half tuck of your chin. Exhale, hands come down to the floor or your blocks. Let's step the right foot back first and then your left to your high plank. One big breath in when you get there. And breath out as you lower your knees and lower your chest. Keep breathing as you set up your baby cobra. Tops of the feet pressing down a lot, so much that the knees start popping up a little bit. Draw the shoulder blades down and together, down the back and together. With your inhale, start to lift your head and chest using the strength of your core and muscles around the spine. And then exhale, lower everything down nice and slow. Let's flow with that. Inhale to rise to your baby cobra. Exhale to lower. One more time, rising up. We'll stay lifted for the exhale. One more breath in. 
and exhale, lower down. Take a breath in, rest. Breath out. Inhale, press your way up to tabletop, hands and knees. And exhale to child's pose with the knees a little closer together than last time. Two breaths here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, rising up to tabletop. You could grab those blocks for under your hands if you'd like, and then eventually using an exhale to downward dog. We have three breaths. We're inhaling nice and strong. Reach through the shoulders. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath in and out. Inhale, bend your knees, look up to your hands. With your exhale, step just the right foot forward. And uh, feel free to kind of give it some help if it didn't quite make it there. With an inhale, let's rise up to our high lunge. We're reaching high, we've got a little bend in that right knee. Exhale here. Breathing in, exhale, arrow pose. Arms start to reach back, head reaching forward, kind of similar to airplane. With our inhale, sweep the arms down and up. Back to our high lunge. Exhale, arrow pose, arms reaching forward, down and back. Hug those shoulders together. One more time, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, arrow pose. Sit, hold in your arrow pose for a breath in and a breath out. Keep breathing now. We're going to transition up to uh, airplane pose. So you might kind of launch off of that left foot or kind of step up a couple times with that left foot. And then continuing to lean forward. See if you can lift that left foot up off of the floor, maybe a couple inches. Maybe a little more. Feel that right leg really working here. One more breath in. One more breath out. With an inhale, see if you can rise up to one-legged mountain pose with the left knee lifting. Exhale, stay here. One more breath in. Exhale, step that left foot down. Inhale, reach your arms around and up, palms joining overhead. Exhale, hands come down to your heart. Take a few moments, take a few breaths, find your center. Giving attention to the parts of the body that need it. Take a clearing breath in through your nose, a blowing breath out of the mouth, taking a normal breath in and out. Let's go through that again on the other side. We're inhaling to reach high. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, half tuck of the chin. Exhale, hands come down to the floor or two blocks. Step that left foot back first and then your right to your high plank. Let's stay for two breaths if you're with me. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. And breath out as you lower your knees and lower your chest. Let's set up for three more rounds of our baby cobra. So, so good for our spine health, posture, etc. Press the feet down a lot. Feel those glutes kind of kicking on as, you, as the knees lift. Inhale, floating your way on up effortlessly. <laughs> Baby cobra, just kidding, it's a lot of effort, isn't it? Exhale, lower. 
Inhale, lift, baby cobra. Exhale, lower. One more breath in, rising up. Let's stay lifted. For your exhale, we're lifting. Last breath in here. Breath out, lower down and soften. Take a breath of rest, inhaling and exhaling. When you're ready, use an inhale to push your way up to tabletop. And then exhale to child's pose. Breathe here. You might kind of creep the fingertips up toward the top of the mat more if you want more of an arm, armpit, upper back kind of stretch. Otherwise, we're just breathing, feeling that nice stretchy assist from the breath as you inhale. A nice releasing effect with the exhales. One more breath here, unless you want to stay. Breathing out. When you're ready, inhale, come up to tabletop, grabbing those blocks under the hands if you would like, and then eventually using an exhale to find downward dog. Inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, pressing down through the fingers. Exhale. One more breath in. One more breath out. Inhale, bend your knees, look to your hands. Exhale to step just the left foot forward. Again, giving yourself some grace if you need to kind of help that left foot up. If that first side felt really like a balance challenge, you might toe heel your left foot out a little wider so you have a wider base to start from. With an inhale, let's rise up to our high lunge. We're bending through that left knee. Either the right foot is, or the right leg is straight, or you can have a little bend if that helps you feel a little more spacious through the low back. Take a breath in. Exhale, arrow pose, arms reaching forward, down and back, just like airplane arms, head reaching forward. Inhale, reach the arms down and up. High lunge. Exhale, arrow pose, sweeping the arms down and back. One more time, inhale to rise. Exhale to arrow. We're staying in arrow pose now for a breath in and a breath out. Breathe like normal and find your way to your airplane pose, maybe launching up off of that right foot. Or again, maybe kind of taking some baby steps forward with that right foot. Hug those shoulder blades together behind you. Airplane pose. One more big breath in and out. With an inhale, see about rising up to one-legged mountain pose with the right knee lifting. Stay here for your exhale. One more breath in and exhale, lower that foot down to the floor. Inhale, reach arms around and up, join those palms at the top. And exhale, hands come down to your heart. Closing your eyes if you'd like. Just take a few moments. Catching your breath. Noticing what needs noticing. Creating that nice sense of centering, of balance of being present in your body, noticing all that there is to notice about yourself. Let's take a clearing breath, inhaling through your nose. Blow it out. Regular breath in. Regular breath out. Go ahead and blink your eyes open if they were closed. We're going to slowly come down to the floor. So 
Maybe just a little forward fold and a bend of your knees as you um, find your way down to a seat. And then right down to your back. And we'll, we'll pull the knees in toward the chest when you arrive on your back. So sometimes it's nice to just take those knees back with you. And when you get there, knees hugging in. Just find a little bit of intuitive movement. So you get that nice massaging pressure down there through the low back, down through the sacrum. You can even kind of get into the glutes and hips a little bit if you let your knees go farther away from you, straightening your arms. I really like to close my eyes just so I can really just have my awareness right at the point of pressure. It just feels heavenly. <laughs> to me, anyway. A couple more moments here of a nice pressure through the low back. Rocking a little bit or circling your knees. Alright, when you're ready, let's plant the feet down on the floor here. Arms could come out down by the sides for support. Press your right foot down a lot as you start to lift and straighten or almost straighten that left leg up. Point and flex the ankle and toes a couple of times. Give that left ankle some circling, some movement. You can always hold on behind your left thigh here to make it a little bit easier on yourself if you want. And then bending your left knee and crossing your left ankle just on top of that right knee, or behind your right knee, rather. Figure four. You're welcome to stay right here if you're feeling some good sensations and you don't feel the need to go farther. If you do want some more sensation you're not currently getting, maybe pressing your left hand into your left knee, really opening that left hip joint a bit more. At some point you might try to reach to interlace your fingers behind your right thigh. Or if you're very flexible, maybe your hands interlace, fingers interlace on top of that right shin. Just make sure that your shoulders and your head are at least somewhat relaxed, maybe resting on the floor, hopefully. And noticing where you're feeling stretch happening, probably somewhere around that left hip joint, maybe the left outer hip. Maybe you can feel it kind of deeper in there as well. Maybe you feel it through the left thigh. Just kind of notice where, where it is you're feeling it specifically. And seeing about kind of softening any other body parts that aren't really involved with this stretch. So definitely the face and jaw. And we're breathing slow. We're letting this stretch have a few breaths to unfold within. And just about one more breath in and out. If that right foot was lifted, lowering that right foot back to the floor, we're in our figure four leg position here still as we experiment with a little bit of twisting. So just letting the knees kind of dip and twist over to one side, doesn't matter which side, just finding a little twist in one direction first. You might get fancy and turn your gaze in the opposite direction. So if the legs are reaching to the right, your gaze might be reaching to the left. You choose your timing, but eventually switching sides and you might continue to switch sides. We'll be here for a little while. So switching the twist of the legs and the gaze. You might kind of rest on either side, or you might kind of sway side to side a couple times. See what feels right today. Feel free to hang out in any good spots. And 
on eventually making your way back up to our neutral figure four, but certainly take your time. Eventually then pressing the right foot down as you once again lift and straighten or almost straighten that left leg up. And then bend your left knee and set your left foot on the ground. We will go right ahead and switch sides. So as you're ready, that right leg starts to lift and straighten or almost straighten. Again, maybe holding on behind that right thigh as you circle out the right ankle, pointing and flexing a couple times, circling a couple times, remembering that whole motion is lotion concept. So moving through the joints is really, really good in that aspect. And then bending your right knee and finding figure four with the right ankle just kind of behind that left knee. Hands could come back out to the sides for support if this is your, your uh, figure four today. If you want to explore farther, as always, that right hand could press the right knee away a little bit. You might let your knees kind of sway or circle here if you want to stay. At some point, you might try to reach to interlace your fingers behind that left thigh or on top of the left shin. And whenever you get to your sweet spot on this side, again, noticing where specifically you are feeling any kind of stretch opening or releasing happening. And hint somewhere, hopefully, around the right hip joint or if you can even feel like the right glute a little bit, right thigh. Everyone's going to feel this just slightly different, but probably within that area somewhat. And then anywhere that you're not feeling it, just kind of softening, creating this kind of sense of focus on the place you're feeling it. Always choose to switch your variation. Just about one more breath in and out. When you're ready to twist, we will bring that left foot down to the floor if it's not there already. Arms kind of helping you find support out to the sides and then just like we did before go ahead and let your knees kind of twist and dip to one side maybe looking in the opposite direction at some point coming back up to center and switching sides you choose now if you just continue to rock side to side or if you sort of take your time lingering Always always stay in that nice find any like really good spots you can just stay if you want and then eventually coming back up to our neutral figure four press that left foot down as you straighten that right leg and then bend your right knee and set your foot on the floor let's go for a nice long body stretch here straighten both legs reach your arms up and overhead just a nice long body stretch, reaching through fingers and toes. <sighs> and if there are any last poses, movements, or stretches that you're needing or wanting, now is your time. Move through any last poses and then eventually settle on in to whatever feels like a resting position for you today. Maybe Shavasana, our classic resting pose with the arms and legs stretched out. Maybe constructive rest pose, bending your knees, standing your feet at the edges of the mat, and then kind of tucking your tailbone under so your low back finds the floor. And the knees touching at the center. You might come to a seat. Sometimes people feel good kind of laying face down, like in crocodile pose with your hands 
stacked underneath your forehead. You can be creative. Or just head right to your favorite resting position. Closing your eyes if you'd like, or finding an area to kind of focus on softly. Coming back to these mindful breaths as if you're clearing the cobwebs, clearing the dust, helping your energy to flow. Breathing in nice and full and exhaling. Try to let it become as easy as you can, just as naturally full as you want to breathe in. And exhaling. With each breath, becoming softer and softer. Checking in with the muscles around your face, your scalp, your jaw. Checking in with your neck, collarbones and shoulders. Scanning your arms and hands. Scanning through the spine. The front side of the torso as well. Checking in with that right hip joint. Left hip joint. Entire pelvis, right leg, left leg, right foot, left foot, both legs and feet together. Feeling the back side of your body. And the top side of your body. Entire body at once. Feeling your entire body as one cohesive unit. Noticing the inside of your body, the outside of your body. Maybe you can kind of notice how the edges of your physical body, your energy, your heat, your field kind of goes outside of the edges of the skin. Simultaneously part of what is outside you and also being in your own skin, separate and together. Know that you are welcome to stay here longer if you'd like. And when you're ready to move along, slowly reawakening your physical body with intuitive movements. Just little movements, stretches, wiggles. 
throwing those little movements a little bit bigger, maybe heading to a long body stretch or yawning or sighing. And then eventually choosing a side to roll over into the fetal position on. Hugging your knees in slightly, maybe using your bottom arm as a pillow. Just fully resting for one more breath. Taking your sweet time, we'll press our way up to a comfortable seat. Maybe crossing the legs as you join your hands in front of your heart. Om Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. Together, bringing our thumbs to third eye center, the seat of intuition, clear knowing. If it feels right to you, let's take a little bow forward together now. Peace. <laughs>